Tajuru Tajuru Kuka Yesu Tajuru Kuka Akwani do kuguru mizi wa kubanga tachuka chuka Oye yari Ari erari be mirembe jona Yekatondo mwesi kwa Yekatondo omukwano Yekatonda atuagara Yekatonda atukume ngatuli wadamo Ori mwesi kwa mukama Amazima mukama tojuru kuka Amazima mukama bade wa mukwano jeturi Obate wa chiswa jeturi mukwano kwa fe Otu isi za mumbe na zona Wakati mwinyo wakati mbisiko Otu wanye nduwa demu kama Kwa kuwe kuwe watari kuwe mkwano kwange Ata soso rambana baba ntu mkama Ori wa muwendo mkama Ori katonda atu agara Daudi chaba yo gira nanga Majisinga kukumera kumuli ango kwe nyumba yo Oku singo kumela Mwe bazaba zikiriza mwe bazaba bi Mukama tuja manchaboru wa ero Kubanga tuchimanyi Wanawe wali okumerwa Wanawe wali amanyi Wanawe wali obulamu Wanawe wali Etagala di afe Wanawe wali obungabirisi wa fe Wanawe wali obomu wendo Oli mwesi kwa mukama Oli katondo mwesi kwa Oli wachiti wa mukama Rachito imu sami kono jono mkubide nga lezongo mwe baza Umu kame nti mukama weba ni kubanga mkwe tochi uka chuka Obelele mire mbe jona E yari erari we mire mbe jona Tukwe baza mukama Kubango jude chisano kusasira Oli mwe sikwa Oli wa mkwano Oli wa chisa Abange tino wa mkwana singa be mikwano We have a friend that is greater than all friends Hallelujah Eo take nda kusaila musa ngo recho choko zore mbela jo itamu Ye mwesi kwa jude chisano kusasira No wala genda kore vye chisambula mbo kama chakoro alero Toke nda kudenga waze Hallelujah Kama eba zwe Kare katusime wa ship team nengale zama Uluaka sira kavotu tuwalamu Hallelujah Kama eba zibwe Tubani izanya machagoro alero Ulide mire mbe mnyumba ya mkama Wabango inago tudoku mbi sabo mumbuli zeko Mwani di zomugame tuwe wale kulabi kabulu unji Webale kujia mnyumba ya mkama machagoro alero Hallelujah Tuweba za katonda tukumi nga tuwala muku tuso unako uruwa lero Hallelujah Ngeenda kusawa onega teko tuwaniliza wa toba online Tuwanilize musavisi uruwa lero Tuwanilize zanyo Ama chago uruwa lero Eno yusisi mkono Mkama watu kore dobu lunji Hallelujah Hallelujah Tube ya ne programu wakati muwiki We have a weekly program Elanga buriru wa mande mchifochi ni wabela okwe gairira And all mandes we have intercession Mkama iba zibwe Tanika saa mkaga paka saa kumina bilo zore gulo Sobre ukuja na otwe gatako We start from noon up to six you can come and join us Buriru wa kubiri musumba wa fabela o Tuesday our pastor is around Runa kuro sobre ukuja na musinka na That day you can come and meet him No baki nsonga zo gira kona ye And you discuss with him Mkaka sato sura kudayo cheche mumu Hallelujah Oloku sato ye midweek service ya fe Elanga service ya zuzi tukula bulu unji mchifo chino Atenga service ya zuzi bila online No wango chari kumulimu wa sobo loku tula bangoli online Oloku na Rawa weleza Atenga anzikiriza wali mtu sechino mchifo chino muweleza Lutukungana kukurobu weleza Mkama heba ziwe Uroku tano Tubela mfamiliza fe Elata nika saa kumine mchitundu Wababa deto na wako wanisa mfamili yona If you do not have a family yet Osobolo kugenda kwa wa secretary service inge wede newe wandi Sanova kwa family jogu wamu Mukama yeba ziwe Mukama yeba ziwe Hallelujah 
Uh, to all parents. Umezogoksatu. March. Tina outreach yabana. We have an outreach of the children. So to the Monteka Teka Eko E Kungani Now we are in preparations of gathering the things we shall be doing. Uh being tungo because the sabio nabion na all utilities we shall be gathering them. Oku betu sobolo kugabida bantu. Tuli mumbu kunganya musande school. We are gathering them in the Sunday school. So ba kenye bintu benda be sobolo okubako bugabida omuntu. So if you have anything that you can share with another person. So lo biku nganya zako musande school. You can take it to th- Sunday school. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah, uh, tu agado ba juki zanti omwa kabuno. Now I want to remind you that this year. Tu gina be ano kuereza okwa regions. Mkama iba zibwe. We have different regional services. Iranga quarter fesoka. And in our first quarter. Uh, Eastern region ya gendo tuku liembila Mkama iba zibwe So chite geza wawoma nyinti uvamu east Now meaning if you are from the eastern region Tuina practices zige na maso Rwa sande We have practices ongoing every sande Edanga sawa kumi tupatu watu seda And at four we are already here Tukola practice Susigaza yo mwezi kumungoka We always practice we have only one month So ina kuziwe deyo The days are over Mujetu ye teke teke Please come and prepare Robu wereza For the ministry Tukena wereza nga kumi na msambo mwezi ogokusatu We are going to minister on the 17th of March Hallelujah Hallelujah Ah, uh, eri ba single mother. Now to the single mothers. Ono kwa yao saa muenda. Today at three. Gena bila kwenye meeting mchifo chine no. We are going to have a meeting in this place. So wama nyicho li single mother. If you know you are a single mother. So wolo kubako no mnago ya nidiza. You can have another person that you welcome. Saa muenda ze njini. At exactly three p.m. Ah, uh, kaa sabe mwami wandeda. Let me request Mr. Wandeda. Aje yebaze. To come and thank the church. Anga wajia. As he's coming. Ababudi uh, zibe njidi. The evangelist. Mbade mkungana nangabu wa sande. We are, ga- we are gathering every Sunday. Na ya te kuguno mwini tugenda kuwela oru wa mkago uruja. But this time round we are going to gather on Saturday next Saa Saturday. Saa munaana njini. At exactly two evangelists. Kama favors we. Praise the good Lord. Amanya nze Wandela Emmanuel. His name is Wandela Emmanuel. His name confuses many people. Some people think he's a Samia. He's a Mugwere. He's a Mugisu. He's a Mugisu. But truly he's a Munyole from Butaleja. I am an organic, organically a Munyole. Ali Munyole original. Mama Munyole and Tata Munyole. The both parents are Banyole. Others, you are there, you are mixed tribes. Father is someone else, dad is someone else. Me, I'm an organic. I'm a different Munyole. tribe, but for him, he's original. No. Uh, what brought him here is to thank the Lord. I know a story in Luke 17. There are ten lepers that God healed. When Jesus healed them, they left. The only the foreigner came back to thank God. It is only the foreigner, the Samaritan, that came back to thank God. Others were Israelites. For them, it, it was obvious. They had to get well. But this foreigner knew Jesus came for him. So it was just God's master that was healed. Now what brought him here is to thank the Lord. Last Thursday, the first of February, the first of February, he was crowned with a PhD in Makerere. Now you must be saying this man is lucky. Uh, At his place. The one who was, who was highly learned in their family who had a diploma. Actually, we have three diplomas in the family. There are three diplomas in a family. Uh, my very own father. And our firstborn, who is our father now. Then also our sister. Then the sister. Now, now, 
the sister and the brother have a diploma that's the highest kati nze nalisoma nalichimanyi ntinanga by all means ni msaja wa diploma now for him he was also studying and he knew by all means au agendo koma erao twatu la erevo na saba ankatonda anyambe fono wachi two principal passes so lokwa kugenda mu NTC when he was at school high, uh, at, in secondary school he prayed that God gives him two principal passes such that he can go to national training teachers training college and he learns to be a teacher with a diploma because in the village in the village the people who were mighty and highly learned were teachers and they had a diploma so i didn't have education. any role model to look at to admire now tewali muntu yenna yabadde aina okulaba so na saba katoda nyambe nti when the elders are come back watch the benga fanya principal passes bid is okay I pray to the Lord to help me that when results come back I have two principal passes that can enable me to go to NTC and get a diploma. Now God in most cases God is good uh, in most and in most cases it doesn't exceed your expectation. Results came back for A level in 2000. Uh, admission he had got an admission in Ngeta NTC was going to teach geography and mathematics in secondary kati mukwano gwange obi wa tasoma na ye na genda mangu okulaba list ba timbe ku notes board nga batu wa admission fembi my friend who is my ob went rushed to the notice board to see the admission and he found that we admitted so na nkubira simu nali jinja ebisere mu wa sister wange mu holidays mu vaka He called me I was in my sister's place in Jinja So na sanyuka nyo kubanga tena sabirira atunda chimpad I was very pleased because what I, what I had prayed for God had given me Kati mukasera ko mu vaka hiyo twali na wali wolukunga na Jinja o mu church bajiita charismatic church Jinja o in that time of the holiday there was a church in Jinja there was a gathering So twabanga bavuka mu church ya Faya Redeemed Church tugenda mu charismatic ulungana la bavuka Now as the youths of Redeemed Church we went to the charismatic church for the conference Na sango muvuka na mbuza gwani wasoma chenkana chi ne mugamba sori yange yona yona nagamba eh I got a boy and he asked me who are you how how far have you gone with education I narrated the story Karumvuka makere de bisere byo Now he was studying in Makere at that time Nangamba ah he told me no wafuna principal passes is satu tuna abana makere wafuna hizo baba kola degree atego wa ewe satu racho gedo kola diploma egun nt singeta we have we have people with two principal passes and they're doing a degree in makere why don't you come and join us atego wafuna principal is satu namba and for you have three so umvuka nangamba kati tukirize katonda atonda kola bulishimu the youth told me, let's believe God. God can work all things. That time I also built up my faith. And one day when, when we declared a 40 days prayer and fasting. So sister, my sister joined me in the prayer. Now my in-law had just got an admission in Makere and he has just started studying. So nganze bisere byo I'd never even thought ntibanja geda ke Kampala Me that time I'd never thought that I would even reach Kampala Kati ngwato no byangamba makere ri Kampala Now he told me makere is situated in Kampala So mubumpimpi Now in summary Ah mukodo mwange na gende makere ne musaba na ngulira form zina azi feelinga na azi submitting azi saba degree makere My in law went and got the admission forms for makere filled it and submitted in mine For me actually I didn't go there Yes the in-law went and got the admission form on his behalf, filled it up and submitted. Kati admission nefuna ya arts and economics. Now he got an admission in arts and economics. Kati. Now. Question is it at the end that is going to cover The question was where will the school fees come from? Kati tata wangu ya wumola eja government inga nim P3. My father retired from the government jobs when I was in P3. Even the pension wasn't coming. That, that, pension anyway. that time the pension wasn't being given to him. But but was was faithful. Not all bad situations are really bad. I studied in very poor schools because my father didn't have money. But I want to thank God. 
Nafuna admission letter in Makerere. I got the admission letter in Makerere. Ne pension wa muzei na tani okuja. And the pension of the, my father started coming. Kati nagena mshauri nenga mamuzei tifunye admission in Makerere ya arts and economics. I went back to the village and informed my my father that I got an, an admission in Makerere for arts and economics. Kati na wagamata ah ezoko sezo tezima ni dua. And they told me that course is not famous. Who is going to give you a job? I told my elder, please go and get me another course. He got me a course of education. Katera education finally, museji asasulida. An education is what my father paid for. Nenfuna bachelor of arts with education. And I got bachelors of arts in education. Kati echinde soko na umachola alero. Now what brought me here this morning? Ugama ndi katonda wa fe. To say our God. Asoba la buli chimu. Can do all things. And because of that reason, I thank him greatly. The testimony is long, but the prompter is on my neck. We are going to increase from here next time. The Lord is good. Let the Madam greet people. Praise the Lord. We are giving him the glory for pleasing us. And to increase us in another level. Thank you for those who came to celebrate with us and to give us good gifts. All things were pleasant. Thank you for thinking well. The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord with a mighty hand clap. Praise the Lord. Is all things are possible. Praise the Lord. All things are possible. It doesn't matter where you started from, where you're from, all things are possible. Praise the Lord. Now we have youths in this place. The youths. We have our end of month services every Sunday. The last Sunday of the month. And in this month, on the 25th, we are going to have our service as the youth. The difference with this service is we are going to have Pastor Andrew Semakula with us. We are going to have a heart to heart with the pastor. And all youths, Sunday, the last Sunday of this month. Try your level best to see that you are around. And we learn something from our pastor. Praise the Lord. And this time, permit me. To welcome our pastor. To welcome our pastor. To welcome our pastor. Let us welcome her with a mighty hand clap. Let us welcome her with a mighty hand clap. Let us welcome her with a mighty hand clap. To take us forward. The Lord bless you. Yes, we have a Uganda. Praise the Lord, brethren. I've been given a great opportunity to stand before you this morning. I want to thank the pastor and Mr. Businje for the word of wisdom they have given us. And they have endeavored to teach us different things. Before we go to the word of wisdom, I'll first thank God. For last year, I wasn't here in the Thanksgiving. But I knew it was ongoing. Last year it wasn't easy for me. I went into uh, two ventures. Yagenda mu midimu bibidi. E midimu ebidi. E two ventures. Nayenga ku jona tandika olugendo range ma omkulu omkulu wandera raba deko. And one of them I had begun the journey Mr. Wandera just finished. That is my third degree. Okufuna degree yokusatu. Nayenga natandika no lugendo lulalate orokufuna a postgraduate diploma in health services management. But again, she went to have another uh, postgraduate around diploma. Around June last year. Uh, around June last year. Nen saba msumba ansabide. She requested the pastor to pray for her. Eda scholarship na jifuna. And she got the scholarship. What I want to thank God is. My second degree, I never paid any coin. 
Second degree, it is a sula. My third degree, I'm not going to pay any. Third degree, it is a jagged and a sasula. Katonda wa man. The Lord is mighty. So, but then, but then, I enge choche ndiko. I was lost, but that is what is happening. Subiro kubera ngam 2030. I know in 2030. Nanga njia kuambala ke chambalo. I will be crowned. How Mr. Wandera was crowned. Echo kubiri never zamkama. The second of all, and thank God. Oluna ku. Uh, in 2021, in 2021, I got a promotion. Ya funa promotion. Yet she's just going to get the qualification this year. That also Pastor prayed for her. The day he came and visited me in the office. Now because of that, I have seen God working. Last two weeks, my dad was very ill. I thank God the third, my father was very sick. Most of my friends understood and they stood with me. I want to thank Mchala Chigundu. She came and visited us. My father had lost a lot of blood at 64 years. Sixty-four years should have about seven liters of blood. Msajio was sixty-four years, five years old. Yeah, must have seven liters of blood. Ah, eberanga gami mu. Yeah, ina half. I saw him losing his life. Namu la banga agenda. Nekatonda yamu jayo. But God pulled him off. We have uh, three conditions that we are managing. We have three conditions that we are managing. He has prostate cancer. Yeah, he has prostate cancer. He has end stage kidney disease. Yeah, he has kidney disease. He has. He still has. He has. Yes. He has kidney disease. And he disease. has anemia. Na anemia. Um, na yeka tonda tumo kirisanti vyo na agenda viko lako. But we believe God that all things is going to work on it. And because of that reason when he had lost a lot of blood. Mchala chigundu offered to give us blood. Mchala chigundu donated blood. Kubango msai mugwanga na gogo alite kulimu. Kubanga the blood in the nation was scarce. She's blood group O. Yali ali blood group and O. And blood group O is scarce. Aja blood group O te jisa angika. Because of certain reasons she couldn't donate. Nae, because of some reasons she couldn't donate. But we were able to get blood. Nae tu afu no msayo go gwa O. Because of that I made my word of wisdom. Um, Kuluecho, echigambo cho cho. Echigambo cha magezi nchi jawo. The word of wisdom came from there. And today we are going to teach you about prostate cancer. Prostate cancer, uh, prostate cancer is a very deadly disease. It affects men from 50 and above. You may not understand that you have it. But what are the signs and symptoms of this disease? You get pain in your private area. Especially when you are urinating. Sometimes you do not release urine easily. That function of controlling the urine. Some do not control the urine. You just see urine flowing through you. The prostate is a very important organ. Prostate it helps us to manufacture the fluid that joins with the sperm that, that when prostate gets the cancer that work ends and you do not have a viable so that's sperm where we are going for my dad. Uh, that is where my father is now Katife, what do we learn from it? All the time when you're above 40 years, you screen for uh, prostate cancer. All men above 40, you must go and screen for prostate cancer. You start seeing your urine having a little bit of blood. Do not see it as a mere issue. Please go and check up. What causes prostate cancer? Family history. It's a family history. It's a family disease. 
family disease. If you have in a family lineage but also, someone with this, go and check. If you please. go beyond 60 years, you can easily die from uh, prostate uh, cancer. And age as well is another causing factor. But now, to the side of the women, we have cervical cancer. We have a plan of checking it and Whenever we do you. a medical camp here, we all conduct all those tests. Now, now let's, let's be wise. Let's be wise and care for your out life because these cancers are there. Out of 100 men, we find 13 with prostate cancer and 3 die. Out of 100 men, you get 13 with prostate cancer and 3 die. So it is very important to be vigilant. The last we are going to talk about is blood donation. Giving blood is a good thing. You do not need a, a lot of blood in your body. A woman, you need about 5 liters. The man needs about 6 liters of blood. When we give blood, we give only 300 mils a bottle of soda. Giving blood is beneficial to you. You remove other blood, the old ones, and you manufacture new ones. It helps also to kill your different cancers. Now, because of that reason, on behalf of the medics, we have a program of donating blood. We shall give you the death. And you help us with your blood, and we redeem the issue of blood. From years to we, are years we are starting women. from 17 to 15 years 17 to, to 60 for men. 17 to 60 for men. We are going to be telling you our programs. And the medics in this room are many. All the ladies here are doctors. This is in Mukono General Hospital. We have Dr. Oliba, the husband, Milka. We have Dr. Kanakuri and the wife. They're all medics. Isaac. We have a big team. We want to join up with the church. And this year we have a good preparation. For the medics, they are joining us. And you join this program. And today we have a meeting at three. Medics. God bless you. A mighty hand clap to her. Praise the Lord. All El Shaddai family members After the service We are going to meet up behind the church Praise the Lord All El Shaddai family members After the service We stay behind the church now, we have visitors all to we will come this morning. If this is your first time to come and pray with us, please raise up your hand if you are a visitor. Call the ushers to come and move around. We have a form of ushers to move around. We will come we have forms that we want you to fill up. And we are requesting that if you don't have a church, please you can make that your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And we request you to stand up on your feet. Come our pastor with a mighty hand clap. We thank God for Musao Viola. She didn't mention that we have COVID back again. COVID is back again and your neighbor has it. So take care. We have with COVID, but they are pretending as if they don't have. Praise the COVID Lord. is still on. It kills. 
people are dying and to live so many things and so you are free to use a mask when you are in very many people we have put sanitizers at the door there are bottles on different doors that you can use we don't want you to die of so don't breathe next to your neighbor as if you are spreading COVID unto him or Amen. Amen. We don't know when you need blood for people are eager to donate. We don't know when you need blood for us, we are ready to donate blood. People would have donated at least twice this year. They are saying that they don't have blood. And when you donated it was quite good. We don't know when you need blood. Next Sunday, we are going to let you know the date. It will not be abrupt, but we shall make you prepared. Don't fear. Because you are ready to donate. You are ready to donate. For us who donate, we don't die. That we can save other people's lives. Praise the Lord. We are going to let you know the date. We are going to let you know the date. We are going to let you know the date. We want to let us have around 600 people that will donate. They were so happy the other time you gave them blood. They feel so good wherever they hear that UCS has placed to them around 300 liters. So prepare for it. We are blessed this morning. I want to welcome my son who is going to preach the word. And I see the seed of prayer in this son of mine. And I told him that I want to drag him that will walk in prayer with him. Wherever you go deep into prayer, you begin to get revelations. And I see God elevating him in different ways. He's going to be a mighty man. Let me stand up on your feet. Welcome Isaac Sebunya to give us the word. It has been a death for the doctors who don't want to change it a lot. May the Lord bless you. Feel at peace. You've been treating people, but now you are so sick. Jesus I take this opportunity to thank my pastor. As we are still standing, 
As we asked him standing, praise the living God. Amen. Amen. The Bible says we should honor those that deserve it. And even those that struggle, they deserve double honor. Amen. Amen. So together with me as we are standing, I am going to appreciate my father. I met pastor. And my heart loved him. I was very far off. But when I draw nigh him, every time I desire to be next to him, my life changed when I drew nigh to him. The words that he spoke into my life, they changed the channel of my life. Praise the living God. And the truth is that my proverb can never end without mentioning his name. In my story, if there is no his name, then it will be an incomplete story. Every time I look into my life, I see him. When I look into my children, I see him. In my marriage, I see him. In my education, I see him. He's been in the middle of my life. So let us join our hands. And we clap for him. Amen. I take this opportunity to thank mom for supporting Zay and for loving me. I take this honor to appreciate all ministers. And you too for coming this morning. We might take up our seats. Praise the living God. Amen. 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 My name is Prasi Babidi Wandera. Already such a katonda, fetu gendo kuweleza masoga mwe. And may the grace of the Lord will be ministering before you. Amen. Amen. Ndi mufumbo. He's married. Mchala wange, Fibi kwa gala sebunya wali. And his wife, Fibi kwa gala sebunya is around. Simanyo ba wayayi mukeko. She's just right up there. Ngo yi museko katono mkwani. They are very many singles in this church. Amen. 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 Let us clap for her. The Lord has blessed us with three children. Two boys and one girl. As you've heard, is a, a doctor. Praise the living God. Way back, my father took me back to school. And I've moved the journey quite for some years. And I've seen God in that journey. Amen. Praise the Lord. And this morning, before we hear the word, let me request my fellow ministers to come.
That you'll speak a word that will never be forgotten in the name above every name. Father, we honor you. We give you praise. Be glorified in Christ Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen. We might take up our seats. Worship team, thank you so much. This morning, we'll be receiving the word when my father called me. One word that came into my heart that is the help from God. The help from God. Praise the living God. And that's what we'll be sharing this morning. And that's what we'll be praying for this morning. And I am assured that the Lord will dearly bring help to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. For I am assured that the Lord will bring his help to you. Amen. Amen. The Bible teaches and says that is Psalms 121. 
That I lifted up my eyes to the mountains. That where does my help come from? That was King David. Lifting up his eyes to the mountains. And seeking for help. And then he says that my help will come from the Lord. The one that created the heaven and earth. Praise the living God. Let us read there. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. The king was looking for where he could help, get help from. The king was uh, looking for help in this situation. And then he raised up his, his eyes to the highest places. From the high places. But then he would not get help from there. Possibly even from his surroundings he would not get help. But then he says, my help will come from the Lord. The one who made heaven and earth such that you will not confuse about the person he was talking about. Because when he says Mukama, you might think that the Mukama of, of the But then the Lord he was talking about was the Lord who created heaven and earth. Praise the living God. The word help, what does it mean? Each one of us at one point has, help, has had a help. A person comes in to help you. Probably your parents. Probably your siblings. Praise the living God. Okuyamba chitegeza to make easy, to make it easy, all possible for something to be done. Help, we chika mecho help chitegeza, umuntu okuja na akuyamba na akusobozesa, echintu echo chikolebo, echo ya gala. Mukama mudu njeba zibu. Praise the Lord. Asobolo kubanga kuwa service, yova kuwa resources. Probably is giving you a service. All resources, ebye because they save one. Mukama mudu njeba zibu. Praise the living God. Obu yambi. Help. In most cases, there is a person that has got a tool that you require. There is a possibility that the other person has gotten something that you do not have. And then the other person gives it to you. In case you bought it, then that person wouldn't have helped you. Praise the living God. In case you bought it, in case you go to a shop and you buy mineral water, the shopkeeper will not say, I helped that person. In case you boarded a taxi and you paid your transport fares, then the tax conductor will not say that he helped you. We normally say that you've helped that person who is in a situation whereby he cannot help himself. No and then you do something that, that, that helps him in a troublesome time. Praise the living God. And every time you offer help to the person who does not need it, out of my experience I've learned that you shouldn't offer help to the person who does not need it and let me tell it to you just, ne just never give help to somebody who does not need it because the because the help that you extend to somebody that does not need it will not value it. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. You help a person who shows need. 
And if at all necessary, he should show that he needs help from you. You might help somebody who does not actually seek for help from you. Praise the Lord. Indeed, in his need. But then his need. If you came out and helped him. You see, you see how he shows up. Actually, I didn't ask it for help from him. So who told him to come in? He came in and gave me 1,000 shillings. Who told him I needed it? And yet you heard him say he didn't have dinner. Praise the Lord. And then you give him 1,000 shillings knowing that it will take him off the situation. And so even our God is like that. He does not just throw away his help. Praise the living God. You say, doesn't the Lord see the situation? But yet he sees all the evil that I do. And he does it by saying, but the question is, do you need his help? Do you you need his help? In your children, do you really need help from At God? At your workplace, do you really need help from God? In your marriages, do you really feel you need the help of God? Or you need the help of God? You're seeing and seeking out for marriage in that process. Do you feel you need help from God? Surely in your shop, do you need God? You are a doctor and expert in that area. Do you really feel you need God in that area? You are a teacher, a professional, and your students dearly passed. You need help from God. Praise the Lord. The Lord sits down and waits until that level when you need his help. Praise the Lord. I read a, a, a verse that really interested me. It says that on the other day you will not really ask for anything. It's in John 16, 23. Praise the Lord. Let us read that. John 16, 23. That in that day you'll ask nothing of me. Truly, truly, I said to you. That whatsoever you ask for of the Father, He will give it to me in my name. Praise the Lord. That for everything you'll ask from the Father. He will give it to you in my name. He says, he says to us, we don't need to ask for anything. I thought that the Lord sees and so gracious and merciful. That if at all I need the Lord, he gives me. If he sees me sick, he would heal me. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that if you ask for something, it is not just me who will give it out. Praise the help from God is it does not just me who give it out. Praise the Lord. You see in the Bible that people that he did for things without praying. The Bible says that if you ask for something, it is not just me. But then the Bible says that the Lord checks in the heart. You can see God. You will be here saying God. You will be here praying but in your heart it's not there. And yet there is a Muslim person in and his heart and he saying I want to pray. And he goes on the road and cross checks and finds the person who has been praying. Praise the Lord. 
Na so if at all you to receive help from God, kubwetaga, you'll need to desire for it. You'll need to pray for it. And indeed, they will give it Amen. to you. Praise the Lord. There are some words that I put down. In case you have a pen, you can write them. Every successful man, whether knowingly or unknowingly, has been helped by some force or someone. There is a level of success you can never achieve without help. And if you do, you will fall from that level. There is a level of success you can never achieve without help. There is a level And if you do, you will fall from that level. And you can write this also. You will also. never accomplish the purposes of God in your life unless you get help. Praise the Lord. In the world in which we are moving, there is that person that comes to help. I don't know whether you saw that in WhatsApp forums where there was a girl who had bent and there was a chain around her but with legs. Did you see that? Somebody had a chain but on the chain there were were parts of the hen. Praise the living God. Even with our colleagues, they have the power that helps them. In the offices where we sit, different people bring in different powers. And At your workplace and in your offices, there are forces that are helping people. You're competing at your workplace and yet there are people. They you are in a marketplace, but then different people have gotten different forces helping them. And so, you even as a child of God, you need different powers to help you. Praise the living God. And it is that power that David was looking for. David had looked for help from different places until he realized that help comes from the Lord. The one that created heaven and earth. Praise the living God. In Chronicles, in 2 Chronicles, that is 26. And the verses are uh, verses 15. There is this man that received help from God. And this was King Waziah. The Bible says so. It's beginning from verses 14. Waziah, Nabatagekeda, Ejediona. Engabo namafumu nenko fida nevi zivawo ebiebiuma nemitego nama inja agoku vumula na kwa leda mwyeru sale miebiuma ebi agu njibwa abasajja abagezi abama gezi kubanga ku okubeda anga kubigo neku nkomeda Ebiokulasa, obusare, nama inja manene. Elinyarie, neliati kilida wala kubanga, ya yambi wachitalo, okutu sabo ya fuko wa mani. Amen. 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 It was, was yeah, what? It second, was yeah. Second Chronicles 26.15. Okay, 26.15. Says, um, says in Jerusalem, he made ingens. 
invented by skillful men to be on the towers and the corners um, to shoot arrows and great stones and his, fr his fame spread far for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. Kabaka e ya weleza mukama ne mukama na muweleze kisache na muyambako. The king who served the Lord and the Lord blessed him with his wisdom ono and that kabaka, helped him. Ono ye kabaka nabi Isaya go yagamba nti omumwaka kabaka uziya moyafira na laba mukama. This is the king that King uh, that that Isaiah proclaimed and said that in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw God. Ngabuli jo musumba na tugamba kabako no boyali achali mulamu aba Israeli bali ba manta genda kufa kubanga yakole ebintu ebyali byewunyi sense yonna. As our pastor normally says that in the days of Israelites, the Israelites knew that this king would not die because he had done marvelous things during their days. Elane nabi kabaka wizia wa yafira nevalanga buli muntu ya limu isia hili yehu nyanyo okufa kwa kabaka wizia. And when they proclaimed the death of wizia, everyone was marveled in Israel. Na eba ibu ye gamba nti omusajono ya kole vintu vyo nabye ya kola momolembe gwele vya mfulo wa manye vya mfulo wetutumu kubanga ya lina yobu ya ambi obu echi talo kuveri katonda and the bible says that this person did this king did so many wonderful things but reason being that he had help from god praise the living god eloro kumino mkaga lugamba na ye lwe ya funa amanyi omutima gwe ne gugulu mizibwa no kukola na na kola ebiyobu ebiyobu chamu na yono na yono na mukama katonda we. But sin says that but when he was strong he grew proud to his destruction for he was unfaithful to the Lord his God and entered the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar of incense. Mukama mulunje basi. Praise the living God. Bo ya gulu mizibwa. When he was strong. When he was made to be strong. That a king became so proud because of the fame that the Lord had given him. And then he sinned before the Lord. Praise the living God. And then he sinned before the Lord. And it was because of his sin that he died, symbolizing that then his fame had come from the help of the Lord. It was because of the help from the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lord has never failed to help you. And his hand has never been shortened that he cannot locate you from your situation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But as I just told you that the help of God does not just come in just like that. Praise the living God. We see in 2 Kings that is chapter 7. Amen. Second Kings six from twenty five. From twenty five. Echebibia, ebiobusa, buwa maiva, nga babu tunda, oru ebitundu vya feza, bitano. Awo kabaka wa isi da hili woyali, nga ita wo kubugwe, omu kazi na muka abilida, nga ayo gedanti, mbeda muka mawange, ayi kabaka, na ayo gedanti, muka ma, muka mawata kuyamba, Nzi nadja wawu, nadja wa ebyo kuya. Mugulido, nandichi, musogodido. Second Kings chapter 6 verses 25. And there was a great famine in Samaria as they besieged it until a donk's head was sold for eight shekels of silver. And a fourth 
fourth part of a cup of dove's dung for five shekels of silver. Now as the king of Israel was passing on the wall, a woman cried out to him saying, Help my lord, O king. And he says, If the lord will not help you, how shall I help you? From the threshing floor or from the wine press? Praise the living God. Here we see a ten-step famine in Samaria. It came up and, until uh, those people started eating dogs. And they started eating their children. The famine was so, so severe. You can imagine a mother eating up his kid. And then I will say today we eat mine and then tomorrow we shall eat yours. Praise the living God. They were so sieged up whereby they would not get uh, food or water. From Syria into Samaria. Praise the Lord. And way back when there was war, in case they would not come into the city, then they would beseech it. And when they beseech you, they beseech you. And then you have no water, no food, then you will die of famine. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the people that would have besieged would be receiving, they would be living next to water so they would get food, they would get all supplies. For they know that as time goes by, you will get very tired and you will have to open up your gates. And that's what happened in Samaria because they had been besieged and so they started even eating up their children. So as the king was walking, the woman at the wall cried out that please do help me. And then the king says, if the Lord does not help you, where will I get the help from? From the threshing floor or from where? Help from people has a boundary. Praise the Lord. The, never forget this. The help from people has got limits. There is a level whereby the person who has been helping you can no longer. Praise the living God. There is a level that you reach whereby the person who has been supporting you can no longer. Possibly has the desire, but then he no longer has the power, the potential to help. And then he no longer has the power, the potential to help. Uh, parents with the desire to enhance their children's uh, education but they can't because they don't have the potential. He leaves his daughter who has sat for S4 and he says, you know what, I know you passed but I can't because I don't have the, the potential. He wants. He wants. But then he cannot support. Praise the Lord. That's why the Bible says in Psalms 108, 12. Psalms 108 and verses 12. This was David honestly praying that all oh, our God help us. That help us and save us from all evil. Because 
Help from people is violence. Praise the living God. You decide to lean on somebody and yet that person is also leaning on somebody. This morning I've come to encourage you and to speak into that situation you're going through that our help should be from the Lord. Probably you've been so besieged and your supplies have gone so low just like the people in Samaria. There is no no water in that you become so thirsty in your spiritual life. You become so thirsty in your physical life. All the money is gone. You're looking in all directions and you don't have help. You're looking into your marriage and your marriage is beseeched and is not You look left and right and there is no help. Praise the living God. But a king speaks and he says, if the Lord does not help you, no one will help you. Praise the Lord. It is in that story that the king says that by this time, Elisha's head will not be there. And he said, but the Lord has not helped me. He knew that in such a situation as this, the prophet ought to have gotten a word from the Lord and he had a a solution. And that's why he says that we should cut off his head. Praise the living God. And he says that tomorrow I will cut off his head. The Bible says in chapter 7 verses 1. And in that verse it says, Elisha says here the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord. That tomorrow about this time, a thing of fine flour shall be sold for shekel. And two shekels of balo for shekel at the gates of Samaria. Verses two says, so an officer on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Look, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, could this thing be? And he said, In fact, it shall, it shall, it shall see it with your eyes, but you shall not eat of it. The situation was so tense in that even their hope in the Lord had gotten low. In that even when the prophet prophesied, they doubted his prophecy. He told them that tomorrow the situation will be different. And officer says, even if the Lord opened up the windows of heaven, that the situation in which we are in can never change. There are situations whereby you cannot see help coming from anywhere. There are situations whereby you look this direction and this direction and you can't see help. There are so many people in those situations that situations that have decided to go suicidal because they see there are no way in their lives. There are so many people seated in thorny uh, marriages whereby they say in this situation there is no change to them. That this man can never change, it's better I go back home. 
Praise the living God. Na yenga na bibwe ya yoga na antivua chovu ya yoga na mukama kana avanga kampega na orangea ingembere ne vudewo na wewe njoga na mubola mubo. But just as the prophets prophesied that tomorrow at about this time the situation should have changed. That's the same word that I'm telling you. Osobolo kubela mubwa vungo tunla nola ba tori na molimu. Tolina chokola, abana baku tunuri de, tolina kakulia, tolina abana school fees de zidi uo, tolina wade vita wabala, tolina wade neka pensa, kawoku za yo wapi wanu. Na ye njoge lanti, wali yo katonda mugurwe ya sobolo kudja mumbele yo jolimu. You might be in objective poverty where by you can't even buy a pencil for your children, you do not have food, you do not have clothes, but I'm saying and telling you that there is a God who can manage and change that situation. Wade mumbele yo tola wa yobu yambi webu yinza kuva. That however much you do not see help in that situation. Even though in that situation you don't see any person coming to you. Even though in that situation you have no person to heal you. But just as the prophets prophesied that tomorrow at about this time the situation should change and and after believing you lift up your hands and say God ono katonda ali mugulu buli wo yimusemi kono no saba na ya golodo mukono gwe na yamba the God in heaven wherever you raise up your voice and pray he lifts his hands wava de wembela ezaba ntuo kuko wawakati mubulokozi there are so many situations whereby many people are tired always sad and nyinje ziko le duanga te ziddi buamu because of the very many unanswered prayers mukamu wa mudu njieba zi praise the living God embela nezikanda jidida and the situation still is so, for so long. And somebody thinks that that situation will never come to an end. And he says, well, for the most of the things is possible, but for this situation, it will never come to an end. Where are you seated and thinking that's where the children of Samaria were? Imagine somebody saying, if however much you open the gates of heaven, it is impossible. So you think in the doctor what he's saying is impossible. You're saying that because you do not know what I'm going through. You do not know how oh, this no, man butters me. This man of mine can never change. Oh, no, wano wange, wano watu, this man of mine can never change. Oh, no, wano wange, wano watu, My daughter or son, wherever he is, he can't change. Wafo, 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 tutu, this poverty that we are in, we can never change and the Lord Jine, can never change. Siza, this disease of mine, I can never hear until I die. And you're also saying that however much the Lord opens the floodgates, this situation can't change. But I brought a word from God that your situation can change tomorrow. The tears you've cried can end tomorrow. That tomorrow actually you can look for the situations that are perturbed you and you can't see them. Praise the living God. Praise the Lord. I have my friend, my colleague. He has his brother that went to school. They come from Hoima. He did a course in administration. And he didn't get a job. 
First year. Miaka etano. Five years. Mbedanga mbinyo. And that situation became worse. Nadamu kwa ambala sapatu kuchalo. And he went putting on slippers in the field. Nebata andiko kugamba ya soma alina degree na hita tegeda. And they kept on saying he went to school with a degree. Omusaji ya soka na ya ambala kengoye na kuwa kechi kalu na agenda na asula application ipake nga toweza guwao. The man went looking for jobs he would tuck in till he lost his shoes. Transport na guwao. And all transport was gone. Na asiga. I didn't remain home. Atuka mwako gomu kaga nge suvi ya jemeli mojiji nge li wedeo. In the sixth year without hope of getting a job. Na yono yeche ya kola boya tula nge wakana hakuwa tanga baibo. Ajichuso kujidja mulu zungu ajizze mulu nyoro. But then every time he would be home he would translate the Bible from English to nyoro. Nebata andi koku muvu machasiru walida dala. And I said this is a stupid man. Mukamu wa mulu njeba zi. Praise the Lord. Nebala bo musadje ya tuka kukume lelo tacha alina suvi. And then they looked at this hopeless man who would not get a job from his office. And even in the village, no one would give him an official job. Bulis are deep in the village. Mukama mudunje bas. Praise the living God. Na yo woluganda yene ye kumbi na anga mchigambo cha katonda na mkusaba na kuchu sabayibuli ye. But then this brother kept himself in the word and then trusted in the Bible. Esuvi yonabwe ya guamu ye ya sigala mchigambo cha katonda anga chakiri za mukama. When all hope was gone he believed in the word. Yali talababu yambi jebugenda kufana yenga agambela wachari esuvi mkatonda. He had no help from everywhere but then he remained believing in God. Wade kuchalo tekudi yiko ofisi mwenso wola kola mute mwenye that however much there is no office in the village but there is still hope in God that however much I do not have transport in the village but there is still hope in God that however much I do not have transport in Kampala there is still hope in God that however much I do not have transport in the village but there is still hope in God friend after the so many years passing by but now our oil company is going to be able to that's where the oil company guys got him they are going to be able to get the oil company to get the oil company where they are moving and demarcating plots of land. And so in that village, there was somebody that knew the LOC5. So when the oil company guys came, it, it seems there is a policy that says you have to work with the locals in that area. That if at all they are qualified, then they can work in that Benefit company. So the opportunity was given to Bunyoro, but also in those areas in the oil camp. So they looked for a person who went to school. Would they see him? They looked for somebody with papers in administration, and they would not trust. E miufu, wazo, wazo, nitevele zamo, wazo, 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 miufu, nga alimu kuchusa baibuli ye, nebamu tuwala, nebamu office nene, nebamu teda kwa driver, nebamu teda kwa bakumi, mukama katonda, sobo lokole ebintu mungeli ye kwe unisa. The God of our God can do things in a manner that amazes us. Baganda babali vamu vakonga vamu esonyua. And all his relatives that have forsaken him. My colleagues uh, told me that I, I left God as well. But if you see the office where this man is, the car that he uses, that there is a God in heaven. And if he's to work for you, he does not require permission from anyone. Because actually if he was to seek for permission, he would not have worked for you. Because for us, people surrounding you, we have so many reasons to why we are not Even your neighbor has gotten so many so many reasons as to why the Lord should not help you. But the issue is that the Lord has not helped seek help from anyone. If he stretches out his hand to help us, he does not help us. 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 We kasito yimuse mikono juu na mugamba tata nyamba agololo mukona wawoli na wakochakola. Amen. 
So he does not seek counsel from doctors, from anyone, but only stretches out his hand to help you. Praise the Lord. Because if he was to inquire, then he would not help other people. If he was convened to seek counsel, he would not help you. If he was to give you promotion and he seeks counsel from your family, he would not help you. If he was to seek counsel from Uganda, he would not help you. Because I even know that say you are not right. But you are not a good reason to be here. When he decides to be in the temple, when he decides to be here, when he has us to help, he helps without his hand in the middle. And yet his hand is so long. Is so long. Is so long. Can get you from the hole where you are. Praise the living God. You are in a situation so besieged. You have no escape. There is hope in God. There is hope in our God. Ladies and gentlemen, in the situation of being besieged, whereby everyone put it our way, they are waiting for a day of death. When the word came, it looked for men, those that were outcasts, they were even lepers. They were not allowed to speak to anyone. They would not get nigh to people. And then they th a thought came and they said, "Bad." Instead of dying in this situation, dying at the gates. Why don't we at least? In our in our cities, we are outcasts. And then. Even the enemies do not want us And even in the city where we are outcast, there is no hope. In the enemies' camp, they do not want us, but at least there is food. So, a little less us go. Whether we die in the hands of our enemies, let us die. And if we are to die, we would have gotten food. Praise the living God. I'm telling you that as this man moved on, moving on from the darkest of Samaria to the camp of the Syrians, the camp of the enemies, the Bible says that as they kept moving on, and then their enemies heard such a sound of a big army and then they started quaking and then they said that Samarian children have been joined by another man and the Bible says they took off that they didn't get time of collecting the gold there was no time of collecting there was no time of collecting everything that they had in their camp they left it there the, praise the Lord. I want to tell you that as you raise up to the grave, the situation that besieged you will be the help of the angels. They will hear the help of God. Your enemies will hear the help of the angels. Joining up with you. Praise the living God. When I just got and saved, there is something that the Lord did. I was, I was in the villages of Kabale. You do not know the place. I was in the villages of Kabale. You do not know the place. 
There in old Kabale of 2023. Mukama Praise the Lord. I had my rented room. Out of the little mummies that my mama, mama sent to me. Praise the Lord. The little mummies that my mama sent to me. Mukama Praise the Lord. But that time, money is delayed and my mother did not have the money. Rent to one, and I will not be able to get the money. And my landlord decided to burn him for two months into the third month. And I told him that he was a student, 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 And because so many uh, students default their landlords, my landlord put me on pressure. Because it's very, easy, it's very easy to move out from that room because we normally have to go to the And so he gets up in the morning, your landlord is not singing. You. So the caretaker of those rooms was next to me, to mine. I was I was sleeping here and then there was a doctor who was working at the regional He was a midwife working at the regional referral hospital. He said the doctor was working in a ramshackled room. Praise the Lord. So they were preparing to share spirits from the room. And I didn't have the money. And then this lady told me that we would wish that you vacate that room next month. And actually if you can move in so, out so fast then it's better. And so I saw them pardoning me for the debt. And I decided to prepare so fast. The way how I can move out with my little things. Praise a living one. But then I had nowhere to go. So at about 3 a.m. I decided to pray. I decided to pray. It was my habit that I wake up at 3 a.m. I pray for 30 to 1 hour. And so after prayers, I went to school. And I came back finding a meeting convened. They were beseeching me to stay. And then he said, my friends had started looking for a way out. And then he said, you want to And then I told him, madam, you chased me away so I was looking out for you. Why should I stay? And he said, that at night, That there were people who had come knocking at the gates forcefully. And they thought that they were thieves. And because they were all ladies, they feared. And the surrounding rooms, the occupants had left because it was holiday. I'm the only man in that area. So they say that when people knocked forcefully and I opened the door and I went with a lantern and then I started moving around the and when the thieves saw it they took off. But then for me, I was sleeping and I never moved out of my room. Fearfully speaking, I didn't move when I prayed. And then I slept off. And in the morning, I moved out went to school directly. And I told them, my friends, I didn't know about it. And my neighbors were saying for you, we have to know about And the Lord is to help you. And the Lord is to help you. You might 
not even put in your hands. You might not put in even your hands. But in the morning, you're going to That move from where you are. We are requesting you to We need your help. We are requesting you to give us your help. We are requesting you to give us your help. We are requesting you to give us your help. We are requesting you to give us your help. We are requesting you I had planned so many things and we might not go through them. But as I wind up, the Bible speaks about the man called Lazarus in John 11. John 11. The Bible says that Lazarus fell sick. And then they sent Jesus a message. That your friend has fallen sick. That is a John 11 verses 1. That is a John 11 verses 1. Mumbuga, Mariamu, ne Mariza, Muganda we, Mwebali. Mariamu oyo, e ya siga mukama wafa mafuta, na mutanya, e bigele ne mvirize, ye yalina mwanyina we lazaro, e yaliyaru wade. Awo banyina avo, ne vamu tumida, nga vamu gamba anti, mukama wafe daba, guo ya gala, aluade. Yes, it says, now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with an ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sister sent to him saying, Lord, Lord, whom, Lord, that Lord he that you love is ill. Na ye ye suwe ya ulida, na gamba nchi obura debu no sibu wa kufa, Wabula olwe chitibwa cha katonda omwana wa katonda abene chitibwa olwobwo But when Jesus heard it he said the illness does not lead to death it is for the glory of God so that the son of God may be glorified through it Tulaba alwadde mukwano gwa Yesu We see the man who is sick is a friend to Jesus Ne family and all his sisters are friends to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Meaning that Jesus had this family at heart. But then the man falls sick. And when, the man, and when the man fell ill, they called Jesus because he had chased away seven demons from Mary. And they knew him very well. They could not doubt his power. But when they said since he's sick and we are his friends, so immediately we call for him. He will come and heal. Yes, we were to meet and agambanti of what they were day. And when they sent for Jesus, he said that sickness is not leading to death. But then he's suffering from the disease that will bring glory to the Son of God. Praise the living God. You know this story. And a man felt sick. And so the man maybe had gotten flu that have taken him to hospital. They treat him and then to no avail, they take him to ICU. And then the man dies off. But then that called Jesus, it's not that he does not know. Praise the living God. And when the man died, they rolled him up. If that was a generation where they were using coffins, they would have put him. And then they went for vigil. 
Suzanne, oh, and even they went and slept at a vision. And then at that uh, at the eighth hour they took him for burial. The first step passed and Jesus had not come. Second day and Jesus had not come. Third day, Jesus did not come. Yes, And then Jesus comes on the fourth day. And the other person who had become ill was his friend. I, I mean, he was a prayerful Mulokole. I mean, he was a believer giving in tithe. I mean, this person was beneficial to church. I mean, this person was sinless. This person was righteous. Ladies and gentlemen, there are moments where even the righteous people, there are moments where even prayerful people in church confront situations. There are moments where even prayerful people in church confront situations. There are moments where even prayerful people in church confront situations. There are moments where even prayerful people in church confront situations. There are moments where even prayerful people in church confront situations. There are moments where even prayerful people in church confront situations. There are moments where even prayerful people in church confront situations. There are moments where even prayerful people in church confront situations. Praise the living God. He comes in on the fourth day. And all hope had been lost. Just like the people in Samaria, these people had reached that level. Nagamba Lazala Jazukida called into Adizukida. And then he says Lazarus will resurrect But then the people say no Maybe at that time of resurrection Praise the living God Meaning that their hope of having their brother Had been lost the Bible. In the verse 35, the Bible says, and Jesus wept. And Jesus wept. But then he speaks and says, Where did you bury him? Where did they take him? That you take me at the burial site. And then the person here who has been in the grave, but the Lord says, Where are you? Where you do not answer, and the Lord is asking, Where are you buried? Where are you buried? Praise the living God. These are married person and the Lord is asking where they are buried. Where they are buried. Probably there is no way to go on. But the Almighty and the Lord is asking where they are buried. They are about to trample over the situation. They are about to trample over the situation. Of you is about to set you loose. The Bible says he said, Remove that stone. Remove the stone. And those that had hidden you in the grave, they are about to set you loose. And those that had hidden you in the grave, they are about to set you loose. And those that had hidden you in the grave, they are about to set you loose. The stone will be soon lifted up. Praise the living God. Yes, And Jesus called. Lazaro. Lazarus. Vayo. Come out. Praise the living God. The one that had been buried. The one that had gotten ill, buried. And buried. The one that had said he's smelling. Even when the situation is rotten, the Lord can come up. And the man arrived. And he got him out. The Bible says that you untie him. Untie him. Let him go. That untie him. Let him go. Untie him. Let him go. Untie him. Let him go. Ladies and gentlemen, the people that are saying, removing their sins, they are requesting that they are saying, 
Sena. What you have under Wagan to Samuram Savi Sena. What you have under Wagan to Yemusaku Mikono. What you have under Wagan to promoting a Musavi Sena. What you have under Wagan to Guadacomocono Musavi Sena. And the Savo Yemuset Dobosi, or Tandy Gokomoko, or Yamba, or Tandy Gokomoko, or Yazevi to Yona, or Tandy Gokomoko, or Yazevi to Yona, Yemuset Dobosi, or Tandy Gokomoita, or Yadi one or Wadero, or Yadi one no Kokwata Komokono, or Yadi one no Koko Yemusa, or Yadi one no Kurani, and Tales, but as a Kuremia, Yemuset Dobos Tomoko, but never the Vasavadi Zomoite, Adi Zomoko, or the Mom. Tetanga, where is over Yaming and Akusavo Yamasemi Konojemi took over Mopanga? You lift up those hands before the Lord. Katondo Moyenza Webby into Yona. God Almighty. Katonda Nyamba. The Lord that helps me. Katondo Wedge is a change. The Lord who is so massive. Homogono got a good empowered day. Your hand is not so short. Or Sango Mosaja with the Baja Besu said. You made that man at the pool. Yaditari Namo Yamba. He had no help. Miaka Sato Mamonana. Sing 
Bonjour, 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 Mokamanangi, <laughs> testimony. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I request to fight the club and God. Praise the Lord. May the Lord reach the bless you. You have done us so good. Praise the Lord. When you get reminded of the message, you get excited again. You pick up energy and say, Let me continue. But they are going to kill you. Yes, 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 I want to pay you. Use na wili mukama kama nganga manti. Go on the lands. I had the Lord telling me that to obey me. Nanga njafuni ya abaku go on the I also get for people that will obey you. Mukama ibaswe. Praise the Lord. Kaka tu go on the katonda. Obey God. Aten mukama jagon jaku go on the zobulambu. Then God will make life easier for you. Amen. Amen. Kati nsabo kwa te chwe wayocho. I request you get your offertory as you obey God with your tithes and God will make your life so easy. Praise the Lord. In obeying God you get your promotions. Wherever you don't obey you don't get promotion. Wherever you obey and you take the word of God the way you've heard it, God will make life easier for you. Amen. Amen. As per your offertory in 18 February yes, at 3 p.m. fellowship Women who love their fellowship. Mchala, Every woman your Sunday, on that Sunday, it will be your fellowship. Praise the Lord. Kubiri, Every Tuesday, kusamunana. women gather here at two. Baba, amiri, kusamunana. Men are here at six. 
Praise the Lord. So men who come in the evening and then women will come at two. Another thing. Service e yari jonye soka aba istiva kute bebari dembanga. The regional service, the first one will be done by the people from east. Akati mwe naba aba istana mwe mchinyinyikire mchiwa amanyi. All Easterners take part in it. I take it when I'm among the came to come on. Let all the Easterners put up their hands. Salam, 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 Praise the Lord. Because we are the entrance that welcomes people from the east. We are not scared that we are many. We want you to do something that shows that you are so powerful and you are many. Let the Samia bring out that from Samia. Even the Munyore should be sure that is here. Let's stand up on our feet as we go for it. Let's pray for the offertory. Father in Jesus' name. We thank you, the one that provides. We've seen you blessing those who obey you. When Abraham obeyed and said it brings you made a statement. And this I'll bless you indeed. Praise the Lord. You are the Lord who spoke and you opened the door of blessing. Even these who are going to. Look at the obedience. You speak as you spoke unto Abraham. I will indeed bless you. I pray you bless somebody. Enlarge those for somebody. Build for somebody else. Somebody has been in sorrow for so long. But the obedience I pray you do the wonders show to us that you are God for you are the mighty God your name be glorified above all other names in Jesus name we pray Amen I wanted us to offer for holy melodies as we offer, let the Holy Melodies come and minister. Okay, so we are not in the year. 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 We are not in if you're a member of Adonai, let's meet behind. Adonai, Adonai. Adonai. Let's meet behind the church. In Jesus' name. Have all Uganda ever seen when we call out to gain our way is that you favor for a melody. To gain that bow it is a Muruim Barumu. Amazima katonda abadde mwesigwa obwesigwa bafe tubuteeka mu katonda ke tubuteeka mbana babantu
the stretch of his heart.